good. Yeah, it's great advice. Grav, you had some deep questions. Actually, really, we actually we were sitting around a room before we got into this conversation. We said, <coughs> "What do we ask Mike McCann?" And then Grav goes, "How about these?" And we were like, "Oh, those are those are the really good ones." So Grav had a really couple good questions. Um, and, um, yeah, th th thank you. And before uh, before I ask the question, I just want to say something about Mike. I've met Mike maybe maybe five times in my life. I think social media, just seeing him on Facebook, he's riding his bike, he's traveling. I got to, you, you got a, a sense that you get to know him at a much personal level. But one thing about Mike that, that I think everybody in this industry was going to tell you is not a single bad bone in his body. We, are, uh, we have friendly competition in the city, he's number one, but every agent in the city from every brokerage company looks up to him mm -hmm. as a fatherly figure. <laughs> they, as, as, as somebody who's going to teach you, yeah, who's sure. going to lead you, who's going to guide you, he can reach out to you for you can reach out to him for help. Uh, who's going to uh, who's going to help you from from the bottom of his heart because he wants the best out of everybody. And I think it shows in every action. Somebody I, I met the other day said, "You can text Mike even if you don't know him in the middle of the night, and if he's awake, <laughs> if he's awake, he will surely respond back to you, even if it's for a showing that he's not." He doesn't have any idea about from his, you know, somebody else manages the showing instructions. So will respond back to you. I'll get back to you. And that kind of connectivity that you reach, that you give to people is commendable at your level for sure. You know, I try to carry two phones. I can't keep up and I don't know how you do it. So hats off to you and, and thank, thank you, you for, uh, for being who you are in this industry for all of us. We all look up to you uh, and, and everybody looks up to you and said, I want him to succeed even though it's competition. Right. That's a very amazing thing about you. About you. Uh, and I, I appreciate that, and that's what I strived for 30 years ago. I said, I want to be the most knowledgeable, but I want to have the best reputation because I realized in real estate, everybody cooperates. Yeah. And there's enough business for everybody. Sure. And I want you to be great, and I want people in your company to be great. It doesn't threaten me. There's enough for all of us. Then, um, not Jordan, things like that, though, yeah, right? I, I, they <laughs> don't, and that's small-minded, and that's why, you know, year after year, sure. I, I don't want to boast, but... No one's cracked me. I don't even, it's not even close, but, but, and it's been in the city year after year after year. I go to national conventions. Sometimes it's people from California, then the market's bad, then they're not the top agents, but it's always Mike McCann, Mr. Consistent. And that's what George does is totally different from what I do, and that's interesting to me and impressive. You do a lot what I do, you do other stuff different than yes. what I do, but we can all learn from each other. Absolutely. Anyway. And so my question to you was, uh, you're number one consistently for so many years. I think we all want to know What's next? Where, where, do you, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Right. What do you strive for? You know, people always strive to get to number one. And then it's, it's important to be staying there, but what drives you? Just yeah. staying there or what's above yeah. that? Um, listen, if I was selfish and self-centered, I'd cash it all in and go cruise the Mediterranean. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I really should do. Um, but for me, I enjoy the, the every day, the passion, the purpose. I enjoy growing. Young people, I have a couple younger people on my team that I'm building up. Um, I still am the rainmaker. I'm in the business. I don't. I'm not the owner of the business. I'm out on the street every day with the people, with the clients and customers. So, um, um, so I still enjoy growing people, um, helping out within the industry. I still enjoy my customers, my clients. I love seeing the neighborhoods change. So I. As long as I still have the passion, I'm not going, you know, not going anywhere. And so I'll probably be around for a really long time. I, I hate, I, I not hate to say that. I'm, I'm glad, but um, and I would, I would just never abandon my team. That'd be yes. like me, like uh, divorcing my family and, and moving away. So I would never do that. So I can't. So, so that's where I, I so other people's concerns become more than my own. Uh, and I still enjoy it. I don't see that changing. You know, it's interesting about that. And it's, we have the Super Bowl coming up this weekend. Um, Tom Brady, sorry, Eagles fans, <laughs> said this. Uh, he, they said to him, he's 40, the best quarterback we've ever seen. And they said, well, you're 40, aren't you, aren't you done? He goes, I look back and go, I am as good, if not better, than I was when I was 39, 38. He's like, I'm not stopping. He's like, why would I? I'm the best in the game. I'm as good as I've ever been. Like, like there's no sense. So I think, in essence, what you're saying is like, why, like, there's no reason. There's no reason for you to stop, right? right and it drives, right. and you love it. Like, he loves the game. You love the game. So I, I think it just is, what's next is you're going to continue to do what you love, it sounds like. I'm going to continue, and, and I love the joy of, you know, seeing somebody come in. I like new agents, mm -hmm. grow, and then be successful. It's unbelievable. That's the right. reward, how important I am in their life. The joy of helping clients, builders, developers grow their business. I love that. It's not, to me, it's not been about the money for a long time. 
Um, and and um, yes, I do it to make a living and to sure. pay my staff and to pay people well, and I want my people to make money, but it's about helping people and watching them grow in, in the relationship. I mean, so that, that's, what, that's what it's about. But yeah, uh, but I still want to make sure I take time for my wife, we travel, we do things and, and stuff. You seem like you do. You like to ride motorcycles? That's my passion. And you seem like to work out too? Yes, just when I can, as often as I can. Okay, all right, yeah. good. Um, city Fitness. City Fitness, there you get a plug. JP. <laughs> right. It's my trainer. Yeah. my age, you gotta get a trainer you so you show up. Great, you know, yeah. Yeah. Now the schedule's full from this video, and Mike McCann no longer fits in it, great. So, uh, Rob, did you have another question that you were uh, thinking about? That was a pretty good answer. And you know, something that everybody else would also want to know from, uh, from Mike is, uh, what, what do you always, what, what, where, do you, where does passion come from? You told us that you, you want to help, you want to be involved, you want to give back, uh, but day after day after day after day, uh, the energy, the, the passion that is inside you, there has to be a root cause what started. And I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, you know, when, when I, I'm an immigrant to the country, came about 20 years ago, my drive has been to make my parents, my wife, them proud that we came here and we worked hard to get something accomplished. And then I agree, I called my team, my family as well. Uh, you know, we want, to, we want to help our clients, we want to help our family grow, uh, our agents grow and the team to grow. But the downside fundamental was the integrity, the ethics that I was taught, uh, the, the love that I got from my wife and support that I got from her has really pushed me to help others as well. What is your fundamental drive it's, that came in? That, that's why you're successful. That is, uh, that is absolutely it. And I'm not an immigrant, I'm third, third generation, but I didn't grow up that well off. And, and so I, the, I am not going to have these struggles and I am going to be successful. My mom taught me love. My mom to love everybody. She was fun, just great energy, um, and just everybody loved my mom. And she just taught me how to love and accept everybody. So I get the love from my mom. I was always enthusiastic. I was always just enthusiastic, and I was always the hardest worker. Um, just because um, what I learned early on was, you know, to, to work hard, saved up, bought my mini bike myself. Well, I, my parents split it with me, and, and, and they, I saved up half that. It took me two years to do that. I took care of that mini bike. I drove it better than anybody. So, so um, what I'm saying is, is to to um, have that work ethic and to, to to grow and to build and to you know make my generation, my kids do better than what I did. You know, you have so, great energy, Mike. Yeah, and we all we yeah. all admire it a lot. It's yeah. the same every time I talk to him. I'm like, this is in a show. This is off camera, it's, on camera. This is. The new I drive thing. people crazy. Oh, one thing I have must say. <laughs> Marry well. <laughs> the key to success <laughs> is marry well. No, because my wife allows me yes. to succeed. Yes. I mean, she said, you have to be home at 6 o'clock for dinner every night. It wouldn't have worked. But there's other things that she gets, you know. And so you have a good partner. Sure. And she, as we always say, she helped me early develop my systems. She's, I'm sales. She's details. So, um, and my, uh, the uh, minister who married us said, I have a perfect teacher. I'm like, you're a helium balloon. He said, you're floating all around. She's a string. She's kind of down here. She's very smart. But the, if the string's attached to the helium balloon, the helium balloon's not going to take off. And the helium balloon's going to keep the string from laying on the ground. So this is you too. And <laughs> that's, that's great. That's good. Is that that's great? Good. Because I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, hold on. Let me think about this. <laughs> so, so, that, so that did allow me to succeed. You can only fly as far as she allows you to go. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> she, she gives me what I need Jeez. without question. That's, that's yeah. truly the McCann team. That is the it is the McCann team. Behind every successful man like is a woman, and it's yeah. so yes. true. Yes. That's and and I don't have to work like I can. She pays my bill. You know, it's a great, that's my great bookkeeper. She supports me incredible. And allows, it allows me to do what I do best, which is meet people, love people, help people, develop things, you know, stuff like that.